Hello, my dears. This is Annette of AnnetteLeonard.com, back with another moment for chronic wellness. Thank you for joining me. I am continuing to talk to you about how we manage inordinate and undue stress and these chronic conditions. And, you know, I think the truth is that we manage it very much like the rest of the world does, except with a heightened sense of urgency because things in our health are already so much more amped up and because of that so much more tenuous, right? So because of my chronic migraines, I have a headache every day. If I'm lucky, I start the day at like a two on the pain scale if things have reset. Um, overnight as they often do and by the end of the day my headache is between a seven and a nine and so you can imagine that my threshold for anything <laughs> decreases for music for noise for problems for being around a lot of other people and and when that veneer that ability to just block out the world is chipped away at by constant pain by chronic illness by chronic fatigue by dealing with loss and grief and all that accompanies chronic illness and then we pile on with other chaos we're already operating from these places places of deficiency these worn down hard <laughs> already don't have the most tools in our toolbox <laughs> to cope with what life is throwing at us, right? And so the next tip is tune in to your body. And, you know, that's part of self-care, so I could have wrapped that in with number one, but I'm making its own thing because our body is always, always sending us messages and information and updates and we may or may not be tuning into those and particularly in times of greater stress and greater ongoing stress the likelihood for our conditions to get worse is greater and if we have a relapsing remitting condition so much more likelihood to send us into a relapse and if we have a condition like fibromyalgia, like lots of autoimmune diseases that can have flares, so much more likely to cause a flare. And so all the more important that we are tuning in to the messages that our body is sending us. Do I need to eat more often? Do I need more water? Do I need more rests, more breaks? And I'm not just saying tune into your body for the sake of tuning in, <laughs> no, no. I'm saying tune into your body for the sake of taking action. And so when your body is saying this is too much, honor that and stop what you were doing. When your body says, I need to go to bed at four o'clock in the afternoon, go to bed at four o'clock in the afternoon. When your body says, I gotta leave work right now. I gotta have my husband take the kids. I need to tell my mother no. Pay attention to your body because as we said with you know the life masks in the second episode of this you are no good to anyone else if you didn't put your oxygen mask on and now you are passed out and so servicing the essential needs of your body during times of stress and crisis become all the more important if you're going to make it through in any way intact. I'm letting this sink in for myself as well as say it to you. Tune into your body and then do what it's instructing you to do. Your body has great wisdom.
as do you tune into it all right thank you for being here until we are together again i hope you are finding ways to attend to your spirit and find wellness <laughs>